I'm happy. It's Thursday. Thursday. <laughs> yes, you were off yesterday. I was so. nursing a tummy ache, so now I have to remember what day of the week it is. <laughs> How are you? Welcome back. How do you feel? Um, I'm good. Yeah, we've both been a little, little under, bit of something. A little bit I of something before you. going around yesterday. But don't worry, I had more pain ex into my head yesterday, so I couldn't remember the fact that I wasn't feeling well. Did you go get your head worked on again? I did go get my head worked on. The top of it, because not the inside of your head gets worked on weekly, but the top of yes. your head, you got a little more hair. And I don't know if you've noticed, but we're getting brand new benefits here at Channel and I couldn't be more ecstatic because that means more psychotherapy for Scotty for less money. <laughs> no, seriously, we've been talking about this and people have been emailing me a lot. Yeah. A lot of men, there is a procedure, revolutionary procedure, they say, going on right in Enfield, Connecticut, where they actually just take plasma, your own blood, put it on the top of your head, and apparently the hair grows back. And exactly. it's happening for you. It's, Slowly, it's happening. but it's happening. Slowly. So part two is going to air this Tuesday. If you've got a man in your life, or women, a lot of women out there with a lot right. of hair loss, he says even um, eyebrows. Like if you, if you, Oh, if, right. A lot of women have lot lost of women them have from lost tweezing their eyebrows, too much. From tweezing too much. Alessa is one of those people. Mm. She's like, I'm, so this is supposedly a procedure that's working. I definitely I have hair on my bald spot, but whether or not it's going to get to the it's supposed to get like thick. It's That's supposed what the to get guy thick. at the party well, told you exactly. that he had a spot like yours and it's gone. But so yesterday, I don't know if we can get a close up of my my hideous face. Oh, well, there's the bald spot. It's coming in it's a little some, bit. It's got some stuff it's on it. It's got some stuff on it. It's clearly not, you know, it's not uh, coming in like I want it to. But you have a little bit of a black and blue on your eye because they're going to get rid of your wrinkles too. So he's got extra blood. This is the most disgusting. Yeah. It's almost as disgusting as cat puke, or, but not that disgusting. So he's got extra blood. He goes, "Do you want me to do your face?" I was like, "What are you going to do with my face?" He goes, "Well, this is like kind of like." Like collagen so he goes I inject it into your crow's feet and then um, you put it in your in your your uh, your gutters smile here and smile lines <laughs> and he goes and it acts like a natural so but, but I'm all bruised here now even the makeup and let me tell you the pain from the face outweighed the pain that was on my head this the beauty is very painful I have to be honest and I'm not even beautiful so I don't think it's working <laughs> but we're gonna see somebody is working while you were sleeping, the government Yay! they went back to work. Yay! Thousands of federal employees are going to head back. So if you have any outstanding business with the IRS, the delay is over. They're open again. They shall be calling you. Oh, yeah. and, They've uh, already called me, and they got all my money. So I'm I not... mean, it was just—it's just embarrassing for the government. But you know, hey. They made it work. It's a short-term fix. They can argue about how to... It's just, thank goodness everyone's back. Because a lot of serious things were happening. Kids were not going to their Head oh, Start programs. Absolutely. Some veterans, which is not a partisan issue, were starting to lose benefits. I mean, there's a lot of just... They the, did a, the approval rating was down to 11% oh. dropping to 10. I mean, come on. They had a woman uh, they interviewed on the CBS News early this morning. Uh, she, lost her, she lost her business because she owns a deli <laughs> in one of the state parks, and there's no business in the state park. Because they're not realize, eating their food. They're yeah. not eating your food. You don't realize the ripple effect. She goes, this was my dream. And these people who are making decisions have no apps, have no concept of who I am or what I do. They're making decisions that are ruining my life. She's like, get back to work. And, you know, apparently it's too late for her. But, uh, and one, the house stenographer, she went a little... She went a little She couldn't cuckoo. take it anymore, apparently. She Pulled out of the house chamber while she just was kind of shouting. Her job was to be writing what was going on as the votes were going. She started shouting into the microphone, and she, Diane Reed is her name. She was escorted out. They took her out. She was saying all kinds of things uh, that didn't make too much. Well, they did make sense to her, but uh, he will not be mocked, the woman said. The greatest deception here is that... This is not one nation under God. It never was. There she goes. Uh oh. Bye bye. Now, and apparently there's no record of it because she was the stenographer. <laughs> Just terrible. So, how do we even know what she said? Who was taking the notes, Kara? <laughs> Maybe we'll get a copy later. <laughs> she, she probably wrote it before she got up there and spoke. So the people that really are the heart of our country, the veterans, right? A soldier from Ohio. This is such a good oh, story. Oh, I love the story. Injured in Afghanistan last week. He finally got his purple heart for a sacrifice. But it's the picture of this ceremony that is spreading like wildfire across the world. Ben Katko spoke with his very proud father. He was laying there in his hospital room. And as they give him the purple heart, he actually lifts up his hand to give the salute. To I think salute. we have it. There he is. It just manages. I mean, look Could how much pain he must be in. Like they're giving him the award and he's... Can you imagine this? It's a salute scene around the world. It's unbelievable. So good for him. Unbelievable. Only 24 years old. It's really that. Oh, I, do you have goose, yeah. the goosebumps all over my, the whole body? It's a crazy. Now we have to switch gears to...
Well, Aaron Hernandez apparently is still getting paid. Why? The union, I guess, is fighting for him to get paid. Why? Guaranteed money remaining in his contract is what they say. Oh, all right, let's move on. I mean, I guess you're innocent or proven <laughs> guilty, but... If he's, he's got just, a contract, he's got a contract. Some people are a little upset here. Uh, so, anyway, they're battling that out, but uh, that's it. Battles over wages that would be lost in this fight. Well, they kind of also want to get in writing from the Patriots why he was let go from the team. No, they want him to just really write want, that down? They write can't it figure down, that out. put it in paper. They want to figure out why he was released. I think it might have to do with something that he was accused for murder, but we're not quite sure. So we're going to get to the bottom of that and bring it to you as breaking news as soon as it becomes. Apparently, A-Rod was getting some too much stress release. Oh, A-Rod. Woo! It looks like things are going to get worse for him. Now he's a subject of some nasty rumors that say that he was using hookers, like several hookers at one time, several times a week. The kind you put your clothes on? Those kind of hookers? Yes. Oh, no. Oh, the kind you... Oh, oh, I Prostitutes, see. Prostitutes, yes. See. Page six is reporting mm. that... How many at a time? I don't know. Usually two at a time is what they say. You... Uh, what are you, an, an aficionado on how many hookers people sleep with? <laughs> Usually two at a time. That's what they said in the article. Oh, this article. This yes, particular... I have no idea, <laughs> Scott. <laughs> All right, so the hookers would problem. go in, two at a time, and then they would come down in the elevator, and then 10 minutes later, guess who was walking in? You got to guess. I don't know. Cameron Diaz. Oh! Going up the elevator 10 minutes oh, later. Oh, that's bad. The, 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 the quotes, um, what, what, the quotes are beautiful. Uh, from a co-worker, he is a, well, we can't say that on television, so I apologize. Yeah, let's just <laughs> I can't say that. He's, uh, he's a narcissist is one of the terms that he used. That one you can say? The, the, the other ones I can't. He thought he was God also, but I can't say the first part of that. So For we'll... the record, his yeah. spokesperson denies it and calls the claims false and defamatory. Right. He said that, you know, they can't believe that he would ever do. But you I, can read I, about it because the new book is coming out. Yeah. What's the new book? It's going to be exciting. It's going to be a new book, and I'm excited to read it. No, like, you are not. Yeah, I'm going to read it. I read If at First by Keith Hernandez in 1988. It's the first and only sports book I ever read. I might read another one. Okay, good for yeah. you. What do you think of that? Ronan hmm. Farrow is a new show on N MSNBC. Mia Farrow's daughter. We were just talking about whether or not he's... Speaking of, oh, I don't mean I? to uh, digress and change the subject here, but uh, did you know that uh, Chuck Scarborough divorced his wife at the beginning of the year? I did. Oh, I read a little bit about that. that? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. It was a little secret. A little part. It little... was coming out in the papers, yeah. Um, there's some, some, some issues with money. Oh, I heard there was no, no, no. That, the papers were reporting on that. So yeah. there was a little sexual tension going on between. Oh. The mm -hmm. Anyway, speaking of MSNBC, Mayor Farrow, 25-year-old. <laughs> Mayor, Mayor Farrow's 25-year-old son, who you know all know is Ronan. What? <laughs> You're like, no, we will not speak of that. I just want to. <laughs> <laughs> Making me uncomfortable enough. I know, it's good. Um, MSNBC has hired him saying he's going to be a game changer. And many people might have been thinking, what? Ronan Farrow? I don't even know. I didn't even know he well, was we talk this about smart. I mean, right. I mean, you, you kind of, when you've got parents like Mia Farrow, right? But he's super, super smart. Forbes listed him on the top 30, under 30, of people influencing. Number one. Influence, influencing the world. And he's a Yale Law grad. He's written for the Wall Street Journal. So MSNBC is giving him a new show, and they're saying he's going to be a game changer. They are not saying... Anything about the rumors that he's really Frank Sinatra's son? Yeah, the, that, the, the, which is really everybody all, uh, but, but that's what everybody's talking about. They want to know. Those are eyes you, are really blue. Aren't they really? Can we see him again? He's under, he's under, what is he, 25, Kara? How old is he? He's 25. 20, yeah, 25. 25. Too young for me. That's too bad. Oh, stop. He is a looker. All right, we'll have to move right on. <laughs> Kim Kardashian is not going to get a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame anytime soon. And Kanye West is outraged about that. All right, why would she deserve a, a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame that's reserved for actors and actresses? Well, that's not what they Not reality their, stars. That's what they actually, the committee, the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce, has a response. And they say, in fact, reality stars are not represented on the Walk of Fame until they're actually nominated for or win a Grammy, an Emmy, an Oscar, or become legitimate actors or singers, there will, no be, there will not be any stars. Hmm. But Kanye West said that he thinks Kim Kardashian deserves a star. Well, for, 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 she's famous because she's famous. That's what, that well, is the, it is the walk of fame. No, I'm just kidding. But I know, it's, it's, it, for her, it's the walk of shame. I mean, I wouldn't. Imagine putting a star, like, um, uh, pick an actor, uh, Meredith, Meredith Streep. Meredith Streep has a star. Meryl Streep? I mean, Meryl. 
I keep thinking. Never mind. I'm this sorry. I keep thinking of the Meredith stock. Did you see it went over 51 yesterday? Uh. My brain is in finance mode. I apologize. Um, <laughs> Meryl Streep is her star is here, and then right next to it is Kim Kardashian. They would. You cannot have that. No. Maybe a special section of the walk, like yeah, the back yeah. alley around the corner. <laughs> Next to someone else's Chinese theater. So there's a class action lawsuit about suave keratin products. Do you What's know what keratin on? is? You probably don't know. If keratin is, you put keratin on your hair. If you have thick, curly, crazy hair like mine, you put keratin treatment so it's supposed to make it nice and smooth right. and blow it out okay. and better and whatever. They say actually it's doing the reverse. The hair is all breaking off and that the Suave Professionals Keratin Infusion 30 Day Smoothing Kit is marketed as formaldehyde free, but actually contains another chemical that's basically oh, the same thing no. as formaldehyde. And so Ooh. we're, we're going to start probably seeing these ads wanting to join, like, did your hair break off? So apparently Suave doesn't do what theirs does for a whole lot less. <laughs> is that the case? Is that what's going like on here? Like I just stepped out of a salon. I never, I will never forget Those this. are salon selectives. I got the wrong jingle. That's all right. Don't worry about okay. it. I used to go to my Aunt Linda and Uncle Donnie's house and they were, you know, they, he was a cardiologist. They were f fairly well-to-do and especially way f more well-to-do than my family was growing up. And they had this big, huge colonial. We used to go there. I used to go into the bathroom and wash my head. I had Suave shampoo. I was like, what are you doing? What's going on? She's like, Suave does what they love it. for the whole lot less. And I was like, all Our right. Our producer, Jamie Mash, is a big fan of Suave. <laughs> I've been thinking, you know what? I might have to switch to Suave. I'm paying a whole bunch of money. It's cheap <laughs> and it works, except if you're using that keratin product. I'm not using that stuff. i got enough problems with bald spots. <laughs> you just keep putting the needles in your I'm head needles in my head. A bridesmaid in Thailand ended up stealing the spotlight from the bride. You never want to steal the spotlight from the bride, but this wasn't really your fault. She no. got smooched by an elephant in the middle of the ceremony. Watch this. Oh, he got killed! Pulls her in and he kisses her! That's so awesome! Look at her. Oh, he got your smoochy smoo! <laughs> this is on the island of Phuket in Thailand, and I guess the elephant was the ring bearer. No, I don't know what he was. He was, you know where he had the ring? In his trunk. He was carrying it in his trunk. I got it. Yeah, just That's the, very funny. Yeah, thank you. He's, He's got a, very cute. He, he'll remember that forever. You know why? Because elephants have a really good memory. They never forget. They never forget. <laughs> but imagine a little elephant coming and giving you a very little. He was a Well, he was a little tiny. He was give a little kiss in his trunk. <laughs> it was freaking adorable. Just because we have a little extra time, I just want to say that you can go support Dress for Success Hartford okay. uh, at the Pond House on Tuesday. I'm hoping to be there as well. But it's the Tiara Tuesday. So you show up and you can pay a little money. Where is this one? The at Pond the House? Pond House I in might West have Hartford. To, uh, and they'll give you, you pay a little donation, they give you a tiara. I might have what to go. night can you walk around with a tiara? And it's a fun to network with lots of fancy people in your tiara, all for a good cause. Yes, tonight I will be at the March of Dimes. Irene and I are hosting a big mm. fundraiser. Tomorrow night I'm opening the Key, uh, Keen Co. Festival. Yes, that's good. Oh, right, right, fun stuff to do this weekend. And Saturday I'm going to be at the Little Guild in St. Francis. We're raising money for the Little Guild. They took in 46 Maltese dogs, all the same dogs. Remember this story? Oh, right, and, and Denise loves Maltese. That's what she has. Yep, and then Sunday I'm going to be doing a, um, an event on the Canton Green. It's a very sad story about a dog that was abused it's beyond recognition. They had to euthanize it. It was so bad. But this is the dog's name is Kia Akaya. And it's all over the country now that these protests, these uh, vigils are popping up to raise awareness about uh, animal abuse. So I'm going to be on the Canton Green from 6 to 7 Sunday night if you're interested in coming out and saying hello there. All right. A lot going on. Yes. We both love the 92nd, the eye opener, love right? Love it. Ah. The man behind CVS this morning, who happens to be from Connecticut, is Chris Licht. We're talking to him about the state of the biz and lots of other things. I'm he went to class with you. I know. I'm interested to hear what he has to say. Plus, it's almost time for the holiday parties. Can you believe this? you got to book your holiday party now. Wow. Start making reservations. you know a good place to go? Middlebury Consignment. Better Connecticut is back in two minutes. Stay with us.